bottom of your program, you have up from Matthew 18, 20, uh, for where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I with them. And it's important to realize that uh, while there may not be the numbers of people that are here that you would like to be here, um, it is my belief just the right people are here and just the right people can be listening to this or watching this. And it's critical. You know, I was asked earlier by the media, you know, if a vigil like this, you know, what impact it has. And if anything, it keeps memories going. It reminds the public of the hurt that each family member goes through on a daily basis. And hopefully it encourages somebody to step forward and share information. And you also mentioned, you know, unfortunately there's unsolved cases throughout the county, um, whether they're being investigated by the sheriff's office, uh, Jamestown, state police. Um, we all have to work together. And um, as you mentioned, a cold case squad, we, we are still working at formulating that and working in building those relationships with other police agencies, not only in Chautauqua County, but in Erie County. We're speaking with uh, Cattaraugus County. Um, and, and we really, truly recognize that, the importance of working together. Um, from our, our criminal investigation division, and we assign one investigator to each cold case or each of the missing person case, unsolved case, so they can follow up on that specifically, so they can have more intimate knowledge of that, those cases. And you know, so we will encourage anybody who has information on Yolanda's uh, disappearance and murder to contact uh, Sergeant Alex Nutt at 753-4912. Um, or just to call, through, if you don't remember that number, call the Sheriff's Office and let them know information that you have that you want to share that with one of the investigators. We will follow up with every lead. Uh, even if you think it's something inconsequential, it could be something that stands out that might help us piece together some of the evidence. So we want to continue to encourage that. Uh, again, vigils like this, as difficult as they are on the family, it helps us to remember the case, it helps us to remember the person. Uh, and the love that people had for Yolanda, continue to love her, and continue to have that hope. We need to keep hold on to the hope that we have in our life and continue to focus to move forward. So, uh, our appeal is that you reach out. Somebody out there has information. If you have that information, please make a phone call.